everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another how to build video where I show you to build cool stuff inside of Minecraft. And today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to build a working eye scanner. Now, I've had two versions of these in the past. I know the Golem's hitboxes were updated on the PC, so they no longer work on the PC. Pretty much anything with a hitbox on the PC no longer works. Now, just giving a heads up, this one right here does not work on Pocket Edition. However, I have one at the end of the video that works absolutely great on Pocket Edition. So, for Pocket Edition people, I'll have a thing sliding in right now to let you know what time you have to go to, and I'll also have it in the description below. However, if you want to watch the whole entire video, that'll be awesome as well so i'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works and then i'll tell you how the whole thing works so we're gonna come right over here this is where the eye scanner is stand right here once the light lights up that means it has opened up our door see our door has opened up walk on through click this button and it will close the door behind us however if you want to keep it open the whole entire time you absolutely can by just keeping that button clicked now it'll stay open forever however if you do want to keep it open and closed by using the eye sensor door just click the button and now we can walk on out of it and it'll close up behind us so now we will have to use the eye scanner once again for the door to open up so all we have to do is stand here wait till our light turns on and then our door will open up letting us walk on through click the button and it will close it up behind us so let's go ahead and see how this whole thing works if you couldn't hear it from the whole entire thing we are using a shulker to make this thing work i've been thinking of ideas to use the shulker i know a lot of people like to use it for elevators and things like that but i wanted to use it for something different and i made it work with an eye scanner because all you have to do is simply place a minecart on top of this thing's head and then place a tripwire hook above it and you can make this thing into a sensor you can make it activate whatever you want it to activate by putting a minecart over its head now i have a little bit more of an open version right here so you can see exactly what's going on now the whole thing with the uh, whole entire shulker too is on console they can sense you from 14 blocks away as you can see i was all the way over here and he was able to sense me from all the way over here so if you're going to build the eye scanner and you want to make sure that it only works when you're right up next to it then make sure you build it at least one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 12 13 14 blocks away so then once you get up to the actual scanner itself it will only work when you get up here and the reason why it doesn't keep shooting at me because a piston goes up and blocks his line of sight so now the door is opened up walk on through then all we have to do is click the button on our t flip-flop right here and it'll close up the door and then once we're ready to leave just go ahead come out and i can show you how the whole thing is working once again all we have to do is come here the shulk will detect us pushing the minecart up into the tripwire hook activating our eye scanner opening up the door now like i said this version only works on console and pc for pocket edition people there'll be a link all the way to go to the end of the video so let's go ahead and start building this thing all right guys so first things first we're going to start off by building the range of our eye scanner now if you want to make it so once you come up to your eye scanner so let's say right here is the where the uh eye scanner is going if you want to make sure that he only attacks us once we get up to the eye scanner like i said you're going to have to build it 14 blocks away so it'd have to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so if we put our shark our shulker all the way over here that means he'll only attack us when we finally get up to our eye scanner right here however if you really just don't care and you want to just build it five blocks away you just go one two three four five five is the least amount i would say to do it and then 14 is the maximum amount to do it now i know a couple of you guys are going to be short on space so i'm going to go ahead and just build both of them for you guys so we're going to come over here and we're going to do the five block long one first right here so we're just going to place our shulker right here at the end next up bring a block right above your shulker make sure you go up two blocks above it or else he will go ahead and teleport somewhere else because he can't have a block above him and then we're gonna go ahead and place in a rail a minecart and then just break the block above him letting the minecart fall on top of his head next up we're gonna bring up some blocks to the sides of him one two three four on this side too one two three four and then place a tripwire hook tripwire hook and then tripwire right above it so now when he goes to attack us the minecart will go up and activate the tripwire hook so if you want to go ahead and test it out real quick just go ahead and switch it over to survival like that and then once he attacks us you'll see he'll go up and then activate the tripwire hook so come on come on shulker attack me there we go see it'll go up and oh no <laughs> i'm not gonna get hit by shulker shot it'll go up and activate the tripwire hook let me go ahead and quickly put this back on creative before i die from this shulker next up we're gonna add our redstone lamp right above this area this will let us know that the door has opened up so let's place a redstone lamp right here and then just we'll bring up a few blocks over here to the tripwire hook and then just run some redstone right over to that redstone lamp so then once the minecart hits the tripwire hook it will activate the redstone lamp so see if i hit it right here boom it'll turn on the redstone lamp and then it'll go off so once that minecart hits the tripwire hook it will activate our redstone lamp letting us know that our door or whatever we have it hooked up to has opened up now we're gonna go ahead and build our silent t flip-flop so make sure you grab droppers guys not dispensers they must be droppers and hoppers as well next up we're gonna come over here to the tripwire hook to the left hand side of us then right underneath it go ahead and break out these two blocks 
take out your droppers and place a dropper facing backwards off the backhand side of it like that then we're going to break the block underneath and place a dropper facing upwards into the dropper so this one's going up into this one and then right here we're going to go ahead and place another dropper facing downwards off the front of this dropper take out our hoppers and place our hopper going right into the side of this one right here next up we're going to take out an item any item will do and place it right inside of one of these droppers make sure it's only one item or else this thing will not work then we're going to place a redstone comparator off the bottom of it so now when we send power to this thing it will activate our t flip-flop pushing our item down here activating this so i'm going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration so let's go ahead and place a button right here so when i click it boom the comparator will come on click it again the comparator will go off click the button the comparator will come on click the button the comparator will go off so if yours is not doing that then you did something wrong so now we're going to go ahead and hook this up to a sticky piston right here which will close it off so we can no longer see us making the eye scanner completely work so we're going to break down two blocks right here in the middle one two take out a sticky piston so we're going to need a sticky piston for this part place it facing upwards with another block on top of your sticky piston now all we have to do is just bring power from here over to that sticky piston that is very simple just break down one block place a piece of redstone and then place a block right above it and that will make that sticky piston right there work now what we're going to do is clean up the area a little bit so we can test out to make sure everything is working over here before we build our door so bring up a few blocks right here and we have to make sure that our shulker shot can't get out anywhere to hurt us so i usually like putting glass around them just so i can see what's going on in here at all times but you do not have to do this so just make sure you place blocks around this whole area you want to make sure that our shulker shots can't get out and hit us and hurt us at any point of the build so i like to go ahead and place up glass around the entire thing so just go around the entire thing because these shulker shots man they'll go through like a maze of blocks just to hit you they'll go through a maze of everything just to finally get to you so we're going to put a cap on top of this thing as well so we're going to bring a few blocks above it like i said any block opened up in there the shulker shot will get out and kill you will not kill you but it will make you like float away forever <laughs> so we're going to place a few blocks here and a few blocks here and that should be it that should be the entire cap off so we should no longer be able to get a shot out to hurt me next up we're going to go ahead and switch it over to survival so we can make sure everything's working so once i go over there and show them my face it will activate it flipping up that piston back there so he can no longer see me so if i come right here he should take a shot at me boom it will close up that block right there forever because now our t flip-flop over here is in the on position closing it up so now he can no longer shoot me now what we have to do is just make it so our door works and also any button that's going to uh, this dropper right here or that redstone up there will activate the t flip-flop reopening up the scanner now like i said at the beginning guys you don't have to have this thing hooked up to a door hook it to whatever you like it's complete sensor for whatever you want i just think it's cool with a door so to build the door that i build at the beginning all you have to do is just start off by placing a redstone torch on top of this block i'm gonna go ahead and change out the color real quick though place a redstone torch right here place a block above it with a piece of redstone on top of it next up take out sticky pistons and place three sticky pistons facing away all of that and that's going to be one half of the door done so i like to place glass in front of my door you can place whatever blocks you would like to in front of it then we're going to go ahead and place another row of glass right here and then skip over a block and place in yet again another row of sticky pistons because i like to have a double door <laughs> you can make it only one if you really want to if you want to just make it this one side you absolutely can but we're going to go ahead and make this one a double door next up we're going to go ahead and take out some slabs and then place a slab upside down off the bottom piston right here off the top piston next up place a block off the side of this slab right here with another slab underneath it like that placing redstone along all of it next up we're going to come back over here to where this side of the door is break down a few blocks we want to make sure we can see underneath it so just break off all these blocks right here down to there and we're going to place a redstone torch off the bottom portion of this block then we're going to break down and yet again another block and come all the way down like that and place redstone going all the way down connecting up into that door and as you can see it's now closed now what we want to do is make sure that we can open and close it from this side so we're gonna to have to change a few pieces of redstone right down here because right here we're going to be placing in our stone pressure plate so if we have redstone right here it's just going to connect to this redstone breaking the entire build and we don't want that so we want to make sure that this redstone right here where we're going to be having our pressure plates does not connect to that back redstone right there so it's very easy to get rid of that just break down four blocks right here place in redstone right along it as you can see it's still connecting to each other next up just place two blocks right above them one two and now they're completely disconnected from each other then what we're gonna do is break out one block right here and place in a repeater going into that redstone right there so take out a repeater and place a repeater going right into the redstone next up place a block above these two pieces of redstone with two pressure plates and boop it will now open and close our door and then from back here if we want to click the button it will keep our door open forever and then click the button again and it will close and guys that's the entire sensor door you are completely done so now we can go ahead and test everything out and then all we have to do is just clean it up 
So let me go ahead and quickly change it to a survive. Oh, wait, you know what? I almost forgot. We also need a painting back here so we don't have to see inside of it. This is completely optional as well. You don't have to do this, but I like to place a painting right off the backhand side of this so we don't have to see the shulker on the inside. So there we go. There we go. Now all we have to do is just walk up to our eye scanner on survival mode like that. Walk up to it. Once that light comes on, it will let us know that the door is opened up. So boop, the light came on. The door is opened up. Walk on through. Click this button right here. It will close it up. And then when we want to go out, just get into it again. Boop, it will open it up and it will close it behind us. So I'll do it one more time. Let's walk on out. Once that light comes on, it'll let us know that it is turned on. So, boop, there we go. Walk on in. Then we can go ahead and just click this button to close it up. And then if we, once we want to walk on out, just walk on out. So now all we have to do is just clean up the area. Now you can clean up this thing however you like. Just make sure you don't cut off any of the redstone or else it will break it. So I'm going to go ahead and place in some sea lanterns here. I'm going to go quickly through this, guys. Place some sea lanterns right above this. I also like to put black borders around my doors for some reason. <laughs> I just think it looks good. I can't wait for us to get the new blocks on console. I don't know when that will ever happen, but those uh, cement blocks look pretty, pretty beast. I can't wait for those. Next up, we're just going to place in a few more blocks over here as well. I'm going to actually bring this button down right here to right down here. I'm going to place this block here and then take my button and place my button here because like I said, as long as it goes into that redstone or right into that dropper, it will activate. So once I click the button here now, boop, it'll open it up. Boop, and it will close it. So let's go ahead and just clean up this area. I'm going to quickly go through it, though. Like I said, just make sure you don't cut off any of your redstone or it will break it. All right, guys, so here's my door completely cleaned up, and I completely almost forgot. You can make it so you can turn off your eye scanner at all times as well. As long as you have power going into this piston right here. So if I place a piece of redstone here and then just flip down a lever, now my eye scanner will be off forever so no one can use it. And then once I flip it back up, everyone can use it once again. So just giving a heads up there, if you just place in any redstone going into that sticky piston, you could shut this thing off forever. But here it is in all its glory. I went with a blue and black accent. So we're going to come right over here and we're going to activate our eye scanner door. It will open up our door. And now we can go ahead and walk right on through. Click this button to close it up behind us. And then once we're ready to leave, just walk over these pressure plates and we are out the door. Now I'm going to show you how we can back it up to 14 blocks so it doesn't activate it from all the way back here. Because like I said, if you are 14 blocks away from this thing, about 14 or 15 actually, it should activate. So let's see. At some point, you should be able to activate it from all the way over here. There we go. See how far away I activated it. So like I said, if you don't want it to activate from this far away, all you have to do is back up where you put the shulker. So like I said, guys, all we have to do is just move our shulker. So count where your scanner is and place it further back. So let me get that block. I actually wanted that. So right here is where my scanner is. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to put mine at 14. I, that's what I feel like it is. Maybe it is 15. I don't know. But we're going to place it all the way back here. Then we're just going to take out a shulker spawn egg once again. Place our shulker all the way back here. Then we have to place a minecart right on top of his head. So place blocks all the way up. And then place that minecart right on top of his head by taking out a rail and a minecart right here. Place in our rail, minecart, break it, let the minecart fall on top of his head. Come up four blocks on both sides. It's the same thing over again, guys. It's just the same exact thing. We're going to go ahead and do that. Take out our tripwire hooks and our string. There we go. Place in our tripwire hook. Place in our string, and that's pretty much it. So now all we have to do is just take the redstone from our tripwire hook back over to here where our redstone already is. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to have to get rid of this shulker here as well. So I quickly went ahead and just removed our shulker. And then we're just going to bring our line of blocks all the way down to make sure that it lines up perfectly with our shulker. And now all we have to do is just clean it up so we can't see it through any of these blocks. So I'm just going to bring up the side real quick, guys. I'm going to skip right ahead and just bring up this side. So as you can see, all I did was just bring up the sides right here. This is just make sure when he shoots his thing, it doesn't get out of the area to hit you. Next up, we're just going to bring a line of blocks. You know, let's go ahead and change this out right here. We're going to bring a line of blocks down with our redstone. And we just got to bring it over here to where this T flip flop is. So go ahead and just remove this one and this one. And we're just going to be bringing our blocks all the way down over here. Let's go ahead and take out some redstone and just bring it all the way down. So make sure you count down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, it made it absolutely fine. And then all we have to do is just bring a little bit over to that light over there as well. So it lights up our light. So let's go ahead and bring up some blocks right over here like that. And then just bring our redstone right down over there to the, where our light is. So boop, 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 boop. There we go. So now it should work absolutely fine. All we have to do, like I said, is just make sure you cap it off. So his shots don't hurt you. So play some blocks here, play some blocks there, and then just bring your blocks down, capping off the entire area to make sure that his shot does not hit you. The reason why I have to do this is because of the, all that redstone right there. But uh, if you use the redstone a little bit differently, then you probably won't have to make this gigantic cap on top of it. Does it really matter? Not really. But we're going to go ahead and just cap this whole thing off. There we go. We just want to make sure his shots can't get out to hurt us. And there we have it. So now everything should be working 
absolutely fine. So now I'm back on survival mode. As you can see, I'm all the way over here and he has still yet to attack me. Still has yet to attack me. Now I have to go all the way up to here. Let's see if he attacks me here. No, he does not. So we have to go all the way up to our eye scanner for it to finally open up. So right there, boom, light comes on. And now we can go ahead and walk on through. So like I said, the further you set it back, the less room he'll have outside to activate it. But there you guys have it. That's how you make the new eye scanner. All right, guys, so here we are on Pocket Edition. Now, it kind of stinks that it doesn't work the same on PC and console as it does for Pocket Edition, but it's also really cool because then you can actually do a lot more on Pocket Edition with this thing, just simply because it has more of a range of what it could possibly do. So over here is the scanner for Pocket Edition. So all we have to do is come over to our eye scanner. Once that light lights up, our door has opened up. Walk on through, and then the close, just go onto the eye scanner on this side and close it up from this side as well now we're going to be looking at the mechanics how the shulker works because like i said this is completely different from console this even though it kind of does the same thing the idea of it is completely different and we're going to go ahead and switch it over to creative mode real quickly all right so now that i'm back on creative mode this is how the eye scanner is working on this game and yeah <laughs> we have a creeper on top of a shulker which activates our eye scanner now this thing actually works a little easier than it does on console and pc but like I said, it does have its own drawbacks where you can't simply just put it in the line of sight and it works. This whole thing works off the proximity of the shulker and when it can detect you. So I actually created a little thing over here. Now this shulker can detect you on any block where there is a slab. So it's kind of like a big circle. Actually, it's a perfect circle on its detection radius. But like I said, this is actually really cool because you can make a security system for your home. So if you put like a shulker in the middle of your house and just hide it up behind blocks, it doesn't have to be in glass. You can put it in like a pillar or something like that and make it so if anyone comes in any proximity of your house, then your, then your security system will activate and all that good stuff. But like I said, this is the whole entire thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it back over so if I step on any one of these slabs while in survival mode, that shulker will activate. So boop, hit this one and he'll see him activate. There he goes. If I get off of it, he'll deactivate, activate, stop activating, activate, stop activating all. This is the entire proximity right here. So if you have something else you want to use this guy for instead of an eye scanner, here is the whole entire layout. So if you want to pause the video, that is his proximity bubble that he's in. So once you step on any one of those slabs right there, it will activate them and look at, look at the chickens morning and that's why i had the sword in the first place because on uh, pocket edition i don't think you could turn off animals yet but it's very simple we're actually going to be going off the proximity of this guy on how to make the eye scanner door now like i said if you go on any one of these it will activate them so this is a total of i believe 16 blocks from them. so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 yes 16 blocks away from them should be the maximum for where your eye scanner door needs to go so i'm gonna go ahead and take out a few different blocks right now so we don't have to see all this ugly stuff so let's say i want one of my eye scanners to go off of this one right here so right here is where i want one of my eye scanners to go right here off this block so we're gonna go ahead and just like hide up all this right here actually let's go to remove that and place a slab right here place a few blocks up here place a few blocks up here place the redstone lamp off the backhand side of it so when we go next to it it will turn on our lamp and then go ahead and just clean up the rest of this so this is where eye scanner number one's gonna go right here so when we go up to it it will activate him because now we are in the vicinity of where the shulker can see us and then over here we'll do the exact same thing so let's go off of this block right here we're gonna go ahead and break it and then place up our wall right here there we go and this is where our eye scanner is going to be going place in our slab place in our redstone lamp right here place in our block above it to hide up everything and then go ahead and just go like that there we go and there we go and there is eye scanner number two. Now all we have to do is just put a door in between both of them. So let's go ahead and just simply put in three sticky pistons right here. One, two, three. And then let's go ahead and put glass blocks in front of them. One, two, three. So our door is gonna be opening up into these two blocks. So skip over three blocks, place in another three glass blocks with another three sticky pistons facing inwards from them. One, two, and three like that. Perfect. And now all we have to do is just come over to where our shulker is right over here. And we're going to have to place a creeper on top of his head or pretty much any two high animal. So if you want to use a villager as well, anything that is at least two blocks high should work fine. I like using a creeper though because it doesn't make any noise. I already know the shulker makes a ton of noise, so it really just doesn't matter. We're going to place our creeper right above our shulker. Make sure he can't get out by placing blocks around him. And then go ahead and place in your creeper right above your shulker. Next up, we're going to go and place in our tripwire hook. So our tripwire hook has to be at least four blocks off the ground. So one, two, three, four like that. And do the same thing on, the, on this side. One, two, three, four. And then place in your tripwire hooks. One here and one over here as well. And then just place in your string right in between them like 
that. There we go. Now, you don't have to worry about the Shulkers taking their shots here on console. You did, but on this one, you don't. So just place one block right above the Creeper. So when he does activate, the Creeper can't get out because when it twirls up, the Creeper will have an opportunity to jump on out. So just make sure you place a block right there to stop the Creeper from being able to get out. So actually, let's go ahead and switch it over to survival really quickly so I can show you that everything is working. So we're going to quickly just switch it to survival. And boom, as you see, activated. And then he activated our tripwire hooks right over here, which should turn on this redstone lamp if I place it in correctly. So right here, boop, I see that redstone lamp came on because the tripwire hook is activated. Now what we have to do is just bring the power from that tripwire hook over to our sensor door. So as you see right now, he can't see me. But if I go right here, he can see me. So if I come right over here to my eye scanner door, boop, he could see me. Now he can't see me. He could see me. And that's how everything is working. So next up, what we're going to do is quickly just set up the redstone for our door. So let's go ahead and remove these slabs right here. And then, so to start things off, just place a block down right here with a redstone torch off of the backhand side of it. That will activate the bottom sticky piston. So boop, our bottom sticky piston should have activated. Place a block right above this. You know what? Let's go ahead and use a different color here as well. I'm going to go ahead and change it up to purple. Place a block on top of the redstone torch. Redstone on top of that. And then let's go ahead and bring our redstone all the way over to this side. So now we're going to bring a line of blocks of choice right above this area make sure you place in four blocks of choice you will be able to see them and place your redstone going down this entire line so one two three four all the way over to that sticky piston it will activate it bring it down another block it will activate this bottom sticky piston and now all we have to do is just bring it down another block like that and then just hook in our redstone to that bottom sticky piston like that and there's our door so now if you'd like to make sure that your door is working fine just place a lever off of this block right here flip it down the door opens up flip it up the door closes i'll do it again down door opens up up the door closes so now what we have to do is make a t flip flop right here to activate this and our lights and everything should be working now if you didn't watch the console portion of this video we are going to be making a hopper dropper t flip flop which is probably the only one that pretty much works on the pe that's why i went with it in the first place so we're going into this block right here we're going to place a redstone comparator then we're going to take out droppers and place a dropper facing upwards behind that comparator then to the side of the dropper, we're going to place a hopper going into the dropper. Make sure it's going into the dropper. Then we're going to place another dropper facing towards that hopper. Break down a block next to it and place another dropper facing downwards into this hopper like that. So now we have a dropper going into a dropper, going into a hopper, going into a dropper. Then go into this top one right here and place in one item. It doesn't matter. Just make sure it's only one item. Place a piece of redstone on top of that dropper like so. And now what you have to do is just pretty much bring the power from here over to this one. But if you want to go ahead and make sure everything is working, just place a block right above the redstone. Then take out a button of some sort. Doesn't really matter which one. Wooden, stone, doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and just take out a stone button. Place here. Click it. The door should open up. Click the button again. The door should close. Click the button. The door should open up. Click the button. The door should close. So like I said, all we have to do is just bring the power from that redstone from one of those tripwire hooks over there so make sure you do have enough room for it too so starting from this tripwire hook we're just gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect we have way more than enough and then just bring the redstone going all the way down to your tripwire hook like that perfect and now all we have to do is also hook up these redstone lamps so what i like to do is just place in some redstone coming off the sides of these blocks right here so one here one here and then place a block underneath the redstone lamps one there one there and that's it guys your eye scanner door should be completely working now and it looks really garbagey on this side <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and quickly add a few more blocks here a few more blocks like that so now we can go ahead and test it out by quickly changing it over to survival mode so boop and boop there we go so now we're on survival mode so now when i walk over here it should open up my door boom the door opens up i can now walk through it and then when i come back over here it should close the door boop the door closes and that's how the entire thing works guys it is that easy to build this thing so we'll do it again walk in eye scanner will open up my door walk on this side go here eye scanner will close my door and like i said at the beginning guys you can use this thing for so much more than just an eye scanner door I, what i had in mind was using it for as a security system for your house so once you get in the vicinity of where your house is on pocket edition it will activate your security system but also we can go ahead and clean this up so we don't have to see all these pistons on this side as well so i'm just going to put a few blocks here and a few blocks here like that and I'm just going to do it on this side. But guys, you are completely done on Pocket Edition. That is the end of this tutorial. But there you guys have it. That's how you build an eye scanner in Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Boom. Peace.